So I admit, going into YouTube, my thumbnails were nowhere near good. Starting out YouTube, I used the generic autofill thumbnails that it just randomly selects as a picture throughout your entire video and uses that as your thumbnail. But then when I got into season two, I dived more into actually making my own thumbnails to kind of pop out from others and to attract viewers. Now, for a long time, I've used Windows Paint to make my thumbnails. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I, I'm, mm. When I would literally just use the paint cut tool and just cut around my, you know, I'd use the pen tool to draw the glow and all that other garbage. But one thing I've used a lot lately, which I'm actually amazed of, is Pixlr. Pixel is a free photo editor tool online for you to use. It's almost identical to Photoshop, like identical, except it, it's free. Link will be down in the description box below. Now I thought, to, you know, for this daily vlogs, this daily April, these daily videos, I should show you how I make the thumbnails because all these thumbnails are gonna be custom all these thumbnails are gonna be used with Pixlr and to be honest I'm I'm still learning the ropes that I've had to use it I'm still trying to use it I'm not the best at it but uh, let's just let's just let's just crack a dive at this what shall we we're gonna go online can I set this off just gonna create a new image no new image new image that's how we're doing it okay now the aspect ratio so many people when they have their thumbnails, have horrible aspect ratios. What we want is 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080p. That's what we want. That's that's what that's what we're gonna do. 1080p. There we go. And so we're gonna make it transparent because you know we're cool. To start this photo off, we're gonna we're gonna use a quite peculiar photo of a Mr. Mega Matt. Now this is something that everyone is gonna be afraid of doing, and to be honest, even I'm sometimes afraid of using it. We're gonna select the lasso tool. Giddy up, cowboy! And this this is very scary. This is immensely scary. You're gonna cut around, Mr. Mega Man. You better not cut off the ponytail. You just pretty much gotta just gotta keep going. Just, just don't stop. Never stop. Come on, we got this. Okay, so we're just gonna copy that. Just gonna, you just gotta copy, okay? You don't copy, it's, it's no good. And we're gonna delete the entire background. There we go, delete. Now we're gonna control V to put Mega Matt back in the photo. Oh my god, look at Mega Matt, look at me. Look at me over there, I'm so, uh, yeah, he's just staggering. Backgrounds. Now, of course, you just see, I'm, I'm just using a basic, generic, you know, my bedroom. In the photo was just my bedroom but you know in this day and age we gotta clickbait the hell out of people so what do we want colorful backgrounds nothing weird nothing nothing too crazy we're just gonna use that one okay now that we got the entire background all set and all figured out what we want to do is we want to apply a little bit of a glow to mr mega man out there the entire outer body is gonna be glow on the last time i used this is windows paint edition I just used the pen and paint tool and I literally just painted around myself. Outer glow. I'm gonna boost that up. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna change it to yellow. Yellow is a fan friggin' tastic color. There we go. That's a handsome mega mat right there. Just puts a smile on my face. Okay. Now of course we're gonna need some text. Why what what else kind of thumbnails is gonna be if you can't read? My best thumbnail editor. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna make this some fancy text. What do we wanna use? We're gonna use some of the Mega Math signature. Hollywood Hills. So that's what we're gonna be in the next probably 20 million years. Okay, now what we're gonna need to do is you know, we're gonna need to add, like, what the hell are we even using this thing for? We're gonna go in, Pixlr Logo PNG. There we go, we gotta find a good one. This one, there we go. Let's insert that bad boy. So I got excited. 
You, you want to know what this photo needs? A good old watermark. Oh, God. You know, the thing that I used to have in the bottom of all my videos? There we go. You see how simple that was? Do you realize how simple that was? Boom. There we go. And we're officially done. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I go into a full depth tutorial, even if I do like a huge live stream of me editing my video, me editing my thumbnails, me making the production of my videos, then leave it in the comment section below. And I've got a question for you. What do you want to see next on these daily videos? Leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites in the next episode of Yai. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. All the links in this video, including Pixel, will be down in the box below. Drop some Maddox this video if you guys all enjoyed this. And I love you guys to death. And don't forget to stay green.